My name is Tom Tui. I live at uh, 1227 Woodside Drive. It's three twos, I always throw them here. Um, I'm here for a couple of reasons. Um, first, just a kind of a, you know, if it's almost not important. I shouldn't be here at all tonight. Nine years ago tonight, I was in the ICU recovering from a six hour surgery, so this is all extra. Um, a friend of mine who lives in our community, uh, Dorothy Siegel, is 95 years old, and mind you, let me just state right up front, I'm not complaining, I'm not pointing any fingers, I'm just letting everybody know that this dear sweet lady who was a pioneer in our community for 25 years when she ran a veterinary clinic on uh, Dort Highway, uh, doesn't have a ramp to her condo place, and I'm doing what I can to bring some awareness to this situation. I've been to Citizens Bank to see what I can do to get a few names of people who would be responsible enough to kind of oversee an account that might be set up in her name so that we can raise some funds and I'm going to handle that, but I'm just letting you all know that this is a, a case and there's a couple of other smaller things that she needs, but there, that's out in the open. The other thing is, and I will close quickly on this note, is the Time Bank uh, situation that I learned about in September last year. I went to a, uh, a workshop on 9-11 of all dates in my mind uh, while everybody was talking about the difficulties of the anniversary of 9-11. I learned about something called time banking and in time banking uh, they believe that the economy is kind of like that engine with two different end, uh, fuel sources. One is the economy we all recognize. The other is the economy that never gets any attention. It's the one that showed us how to tie our shoes when we were young and be on time that economy that nobody pays for. You don't pay for that. In a time bank, when you participate in it, you give an hour of your time helping you get something done at home. I've earned an hour then that I can put in the bank. And when I need something done, I can ask Wendy, because she's in the time bank as well, to help me get something done. It's a pay it forward idea. And every Tuesday at 6.30 at the Grand Link Senior Community Center, I'm having what I call a public forum, which is just to talk about time banking. And time banking can be in your family, it can be in your club, it can be the city council, you can do it amongst each other. Up to 20 people can use the community weaver software that Time Banks USA provides for free. So you can get accustomed to it. And the theory is that as you get more accustomed to doing this, and we grow and expand, we, we sort of blend into the other. And we become a community of people who pay it forward and help each other out. And I'd like to create a model here in Grand Blank that I can then go to the rest of Genesee County and. Um, replicate. I've also been invited to be on the board of directors of the Michigan Alliance of Time Banks, which is pretty exciting since this energy I, I brought to them, they apparently recognize them. Michael, I've been talking to you, so I'd like you to have this one instead of inundating everybody as I usually do, uh, and say thank you. Time Bank, I think.